Hi, so according to the Security Standards Console, June 30th is actually the deadline to get rid of a lot of the obsolete security protocols on your servers. So that includes TLS 1.0 and also the SSL 2.0 and 3.0. So I have a script here that you can run that will actually do that. So I'm going to show you what that script does. So uh, first off, I actually tested my uh, site using SSL Labs. And I'll have these links and also the script in the description area for your download. And my site is the package finder. And when I run it, what I got was a B. And I have um, a, some weaknesses here. The Duffy, Duffy Hillman exchange uh, caps my score at a B. And I have SSL 3.0 um, actually enabled. And also some ciphers here, RC4 ciphers that are also obsolete. And after running my script, which I'll show you uh, in a bit, I got all A's. So let me go ahead and actually show you exactly what I did here. So I have this script that creates entries in the registry. So I'm just going to hit edit. And you'll see this script creates the TLS 1.2 and TLS 1.1 and also the 2.0 and 3.0 and it disables those on the server. It also has the Diffie-Hillman and what it does is it creates a minimal key length for that which is actually um, in uh, I think it's 2480, uh, 2048 length, bit length in uh, decimal and these are the RC4 which I am basically disabling. So how does that look on the in the registry after I run it? So it creates these in the in the registry here and you can see these are the keys. It's local machine system, current control set, control, security providers and S channel. You'll see under ciphers it disables these so you'll see enabled keys. So so once you run this, and all you have to do is double click, but first you have to bring up the registry just to double check. So when I double click on this, it's simply going to prompt you to add these entries in the registry. And after I push OK, it's going to have these registry settings. Now I already added them, so it's not going to add them. And you'll notice for 2.0, I have it disabled by default and also the 3.0 disabled by default. So if you go back and, and you look at my scores, you'll notice this is a score of an A and I have the 1.2 enabled. Now the 1.3 is still under approval so it, it is actually not available yet. The 1.2 is enabled, the 1.1 and for backwards compatibility the 1.0 is also enabled here and I have the SSL 3 and the SSL 2 disabled and so there you go um, and I will have these in the description area of this video so look for all of these links there now I also want to mention if you need TSL 1.2 support for SQL Server um, I will also have a link in the description here where you could download that that update. So it's just KB3135244. And also for if you have the portal issue and a SQL Server, I mean a Windows Server 2008, you could also download that in the description area also. So um, look for this script as well as the other links in the description area. And I hope this helped and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.